Is it legal to ride in the back of a travel trailer, fifth wheeler, or a truck camper while it's riding down the road? Stick around, the answers just might surprise you. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan is behind the camera. And if you're new to our channel, welcome aboard. We want to welcome you to the channel. We have our YouTube channel and our website that we started to share our experiences as we learn how to RV. And we just thought if we could share that experience with everybody else, you might learn from our mistakes and what we did well and what we didn't do so well. So welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy the material. Um, today we're going to be talking about is it legal to ride in the back of a travel trailer while it's riding down the road. Now we all know you can ride in a motorhome, a drivable RV, while it's driving down the road, but can you ride in the back of a towable travel trailer while it's riding down the road? And the answer is maybe. It depends on the state that you live in. We happen to be from Maryland, and in Maryland you are allowed to ride in the back of a travel trailer, but there's only about seven states that really allow you to ride in the back of a travel trailer. All the others do not allow you, so you need to check your local laws. So the states that do, you, do allow you to ride in a travel trailer do have certain precautions or requirements of the travel trailer. First of all, it might need to have seat belts. Second of all, it might need to have tempered glass, which is different than plastic. A tempered glass is like the windshield in your car. If it shatters, it doesn't throw glass shards everywhere. It sort of stays intact and shatters and doesn't blow glass everywhere. Um, they also might say that kids under a certain age aren't allowed to ride in the back of a travel trailer. So just be uh, aware uh, that there might be different requirements that you have to meet in order for people or pets to ride in the back of a travel trailer. This one that we're in doesn't even have seat belts. So I would not recommend riding in a travel trailer or any motorhome if it doesn't have seat belts. Um, but also we don't recommend riding in a travel trailer while it's going down the road. They are unstable, they rock, they, you know, they bounce around. You could fall and get hurt pretty badly in the back of a travel trailer. And also people, um, I wrote a blog post about riding in the back of a travel trailer and I didn't word it correctly and I kind of made it sound like it might be okay if you left your pet in the back of a travel trailer while you're riding down the road. And so some of my readers sent me a few emails saying, are you crazy? Why would you say you can leave a pet in the back of your travel trailer? Well, I did. I, I worded that article wrong. I corrected it. And thank goodness my readers let me know about it. We do not condone leaving a pet in the back of a travel trailer while you're riding down the road for a multitude of reasons. Number one, you probably don't have the AC on. And if it's really hot, it could get super hot in your travel trailer or if, if your pet is back here, probably in a cage or a crate, the crate could go sliding around. Even if you secure it, your pet could go flying inside of the cage. There's no communication between you and the pet. So it's a very dangerous situation and your pet could get hurt. And so we do not recommend leaving your pet in the travel trailer while you're riding down the road either. Hey, stick around till the end of the video. Give us a thumbs up. It lets us know how we're doing and you might even catch some of our bloopers. So now that we know it's may be legal to ride in the back of a tra uh, travel trailer while you're riding down the road. We also get a lot of questions about is it okay to ride in the back of a fifth wheel when you're rolling down the road. Fifth wheels are much more stable uh, driving down the road because of the way that they attach to the truck that's towing them. There are 19 states that allow passengers to travel in the back of a fifth wheel while it's da rolling down the road. But you have many of the same issues. Even though they're a little more stable, they're still very dangerous. You still have requirements that your state may impose on that fifth wheel as well, like you have to have seat belts, you probably have to have safety glass. Some states require that children be over a certain age. Usually that age is about 13 years old. And again, the same issue with the pets. I just don't think it's a great idea to leave a pet alone in the back of a travel trailer, fifth wheel, truck camper, anything. if they're unattended and uh, you don't have any communication with them because if they're hurt you're not going to know it for a long time so while it is okay you know you have to be really careful and think hard about it we do not recommend it at all so we also have questions about from from people that read our blog can you ride in the back of a truck camper while it's rolling down the road 
and there are uh, a lot of states that do allow it however you have to have an opening from the truck cab into the truck camper and that doesn't happen very often usually you have a window on the back of your pickup truck there's a window in the truck camper so you can see into the into the truck cab itself but it's very rare that that opening is wide open and left open all the time and that's the requirement to be able to ride in the back of a truck camper so uh once again we don't recommend it we we feel like if there's no seat belts and even if there are it's just a very unsafe situation to be in so if you guys have any questions though about this issue or other issues uh, or you want to see us make a, a certain video or anything please leave it in the comments below we try to answer all of your questions and get back to you guys as quick as we can and who knows we might even make a video about whatever topic it is that you're interested in for lots more information about RVing check out some of our other YouTube videos and you can also find us over on rvblogger.com so please feel free to subscribe leave us a thumbs up and for Mike and Susan We'll see you next time. <laughs> I don't th stop that. Blah, blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. RVing, and this is just terrible. If this is your first time here visiting us at RV Blogger YouTube channel, I screwed that all up.